So this is Beth 99, section 12.3, um, log functions and their applications. And we're going to keep building on this idea of, of logarithmic functions. And if you remember from last time, we said that basically if we had like log base B of uh, X equals Y, let's say, that's an equivalent statement to um, B to the Y power equals X. Remember logarithms undo exponents and... Um, well, they undo something to an exponential power. And um, also the output for a logarithm is an exponent. So notice that y is the exponent here. So if I had something like um, 3 to the x, y equals 3 to the x, the inverse for that function would be log base 3 of x. So notice 3 to the takes it to uh, the x power log base 3 of x asks 3 to what power would give me x. Those are inverses to each other. Um, we could kind of see that in graphs, in the graphs of them. So like if I were to graph 3 to the x, it looks like this. Here it is. And if I were to graph um, log base 3 over here in miscellaneous, log base 3 of x, it's this. And remember, that um, logarithms, I'm sorry, functions and their inverses are symmetrical across this y equals x line. So like this point that's at 3, 1 is the point that's 1, 3 here. Remember, it mirrors across that. And as I zoom out, looks like that. And if we were doing graphs on these, uh, these, these log functions, all of our transformations relationships would work too. So like um, log base 3 of x, plus five, we would just move it up five, et cetera. I'm not gonna focus on that. I'm just gonna do some evaluating of logarithms. Let's just evaluate a couple of logarithms. So let's start with uh, something like log base three of nine. I wanna simplify that or evaluate it, just get it down to a single case. So this is basically asking me three to what power would give me nine? Um, and that's pretty easy to see, it's two. So three squared is nine. So that means that log base three of nine equals two. The answer is two. And that's because three to the second squared is nine. Let's do another one. Uh, log base five of five. You might see it right away. It's asking five to what power is five? Well, it's one. Five to the first power is five. Oops, sorry, I meant let's just put log base 9. Log base 9 of 27. So let's see, this is asking 9 to what power gives 27. And that's interesting. That's not one that you actually just, just see right away. Like some people might think 3 because 9 times 3 is 27, but 9 to the third power means 9 times 9 times 9. That's not 27. So if we don't just see the answer right away, um, we're not sure what to do. A technique that we could do is break these down to smaller bases. Like I know that nine is three squared and I'm just gonna call this X. So this would be three squared to the X power. And I also know that 27 is three cubed, three times three times three. So now notice what I have is uh, three, when you have a power to a power, you just multiply. So three to the two X equals uh, three to the third. And now since these have the same base, the bases actually um, are, are not important. Like they don't matter. What matters is that these exponents end up being the same thing. Because then it'll be three to some power and three to the same power. So really all I have to solve now is uh, two times x equals three. So I'll divide both sides by two. Looks like x equals three halves. I could check that on my calculator pretty easily. Um, and what I could do is, is plug it back into this part. Take 9 to the 3 halves power. And if I do that on my calculator, it will spit out 27. Now let's talk about maybe why, why that happens as well. Three, 9 to the 3 halves power. What are, what are we doing when we're going 3 halves power? Let's think of this as 9 to the 1 half to the third. Uh, 1 half power. Remember, one half power means square root, like second root. So this is really saying the square root of nine to the third power. Square root of nine is three. Three to the third power 
is 27. So there was kind of an abrupt change there because I actually made a mistake in the original video that someone pointed out to me. So uh, I'm going to do the problem here. I'll insert it and then uh, you'll see a, an X that crossed out my old work. Uh, but anyways, uh, log base 25 of 5, what does that equal? So what we're asking is 25 to what power would give us 5? So that's, um, that's a pretty interesting one to solve. Notice that like 25 is getting down to 5. So I know that I know that 5 squared is 25. Um, and I know that the square root of 25 is 5. So in order to get this down to 5, uh, uh, it's the square root of 25. And square root is the same as the 1 half power. So 25 to the 1 half is 5. So this must be 1 half. Okay, like I said, um, it's going to flip back to the other screen and there'll be a, a big X over the, the old work. So thanks for putting up with that lack of continuity in this video. just have a couple more that I want to do here. Uh, let's try log base 12 of 1. So this is asking 12 to what power gives me 1? Hmm. Let's see. Um, you know, it's not 1. Negative 1 gets to 1 12th. I know what it is. It's 0. Remember, anything to the 0th power is 1, um, except 0 itself. So if we ever have anything like this, that's actually a good thing to remember. Log base b of 1 will always be 0. And earlier, you know, we had log base 5 of 5. Log base b of b is always going to be 1. And one more I want to say, um, bog, <laughs> log base b of b to some power, say a, it's going to be a, because this is asking b to what power is b to the a power, it must be a. So there's some nice things just to, uh, just to remember to be able to recall. Log base 10 of 10,000. So 10 to what power is 10,000. Well, let's see, 10 to the first is 10, 10 squared is 100, 10 cubed is 1,000. Notice that each time we multiply by 10, we we, uh, we end up with another zero in the string. So 10 to the third has three zeros in it. So this has one, two, three, four zeros in it. So um, log base 10 of 10,000 must be, must be four, because it's 10 times itself four times. Similarly, if I had something like log base 10 of 0. 0.000001. I can think of this as a fraction. This is log base 10 of 1 over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. A million. Well, log base 10 of a million would be 6, but since this is uh, inverted, it's negative 6 since it's reciprocal. Just have a... One more, one more example I want to do. Log base 4 of 8. All right, so log base 4 of 8. That is asking 4 to what power would give me 8. Well, let's see. These are both, these are both, uh, these could both be written as a base 2. Like, like 4 is 2 to the second power. I'll call this an x here. 2 to the x. And 8 is 2 cubed. So power to a power, I just multiply. So this is the same as 2 to the 2x equals 2 cubed. And I've changed them so they both have the same base. So now the bases don't matter. What matters are the exponents. The exponents must be equal to each other. 2x equals 3. Divide both sides by 2. x equals 3 halves. And again, I can check that pretty easily, shove it back into my calculator like that, and give it a try. Um, get some good practice in going back and forth uh, between this sort of statement and then change it into this statement so that you can solve it email me any questions that you have and uh have fun practicing this i, th I like this this is pretty fun